Hello, hello, hello. In honor of all my friends and family who are from Wisconsin and Iowa, I am drinking a hot latte because I know you are freezing. So I spent 20 years of my life in Iowa and 20 years of my life in Wisconsin, and now I'm in Colorado. But as you can imagine, I have a lot of friends on Facebook that are posting all these crazy pictures of how cold it is in Wisconsin and Iowa. And I don't know if it's cold in any of the other states um, out there, but it is the frozen tundra or the polar vortex is what they call it as well. So I was there one year when it got super cold and it was crazy. Um, so anyway, so I'm seeing a lot of those pictures. So if you are joining live, say a quick hello. And if any of you are from Wisconsin or Iowa or any of the cold states out there, um, let me know and tell me what uh, the temperature is there. I know it's in the negatives, like negative 16 or 20. So I, um, oh, Kathy, you lived in Wisconsin for a few few years. Winters are so cold. Yes, they're freezing there. So one thing about me is I do not like to be cold. I could live in a climate where it is summer all year long. And tonight I'm going ice skating with um, my daughter and the youth group kids. And I'm dreading it, not because of being with the kids, but because of being cold and especially at night. So I'm gonna bundle up like crazy. But this latte, it is warming me up. It's actually cashew milk with cardamom oil and honey um, and espresso. And it is delicious. So I will share this recipe later on. All right, so thank you everyone for joining. My name is Karen Amundsen and my husband and I run Oil Powered Pair. You can find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. So make sure you go there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's tons of videos there. If you find some that you like that were helpful, please share those, that would be awesome. So, all right. Today, we are going to continue with our theme. So for the year 2019, the last couple episodes have all been, have all been about making um, a healthy lifestyle and creating a healthy lifestyle for yourself. And how do you do that without becoming overwhelmed? It's so easy um, to look at someone or something and think, oh, I could never do that. That's just way out there for me. It's too crazy. It's too hard. And I want to help you um, take those baby steps. Okay. So I've been talking a lot about what about Bob, that movie and taking little baby steps to creating a healthy lifestyle and not getting overwhelmed, but to continue to move that needle forward. Um, for your help. So, hi, Dr. Byron. Oh, I'm glad you're on here. Um, okay, so I want you to think about this, all right? Think about somebody who is knitting. Like, you might not know how to knit, and you go down to knit for the first time, and you see this beautiful blanket that they've created, and you're just like, how in the world do I do this? And this is so crazy and I can't do it and it's too overwhelming and that's it, I quit, okay? Um, for us, what I'm gonna be talking about today is a lot like our business, okay? So we've started a business uh, about two and a half years ago and it's easy to look at somebody else who's been doing the business for maybe five or 10 years and they're so far ahead and we look at them and we're like, oh my goodness, how could we ever do that? And that is exactly um, what I wanna talk about with creating a healthy lifestyle and incorporating essential oils into your life and not getting overwhelmed, but taking those little baby steps and eventually you're there. And we're there right now. We have created this healthy lifestyle and it's not overwhelming anymore because we've been doing it now for three years and we're to the point where it's just a daily part of our life and we do so many things without even 
thinking about it, okay? So that's what I want to help you guys with. I'm hoping that my experience, um, I can share some tips and help you get from where I was to where I didn't have a healthy lifestyle. I didn't have rituals. I didn't have um, routines and healthy habits. And now I do um, because of the little baby steps that I have taken over the past uh, few years, okay? So today, I am going to be talking mostly about essential oils and how to, you know, what does my daily protocol look like, okay? So my daily protocol um, is probably going to be different than your daily protocol because it's going to be based on your needs, and we all have different needs. Um, so I'm going to show you mine, and hopefully you can take some bits and pieces from that and apply that to your life. Now, if you are not using oils, if you don't have them in your home yet, that is totally okay. Um, I'm gonna be sharing other tips, not just about essential oils, that you will be able to get from this call and apply to your life, okay? So bear with me, hang in there, and we will move forward, okay? So first of all, we're going to talk about habits and routines for a little bit. And I want to give a huge shout out to Ange Peters at Whole Fit. So if you have not heard of her, go follow her now. Go watch her videos now because she has been um, a huge part in impacting my life and our family's life for starting rituals and starting habits. Now, we all have habits, right? Because we are creatures of habit. So we have habits that we probably don't even realize that we have, okay? But what I wanna help and talk to you guys about is creating habits and making habits and making rituals, okay, into your life. So first off, I'm gonna share a little illustration. This is from my favorite show, Frasier. Okay. I love that show. I have, I shouldn't even tell you how many episodes, how many times I've watched all the different seasons and the episodes, but I've watched them all. Okay. Several times. But, anyways, I was watching it a couple of nights ago and it was season one. I think it was the second episode. And Frasier um, is talking about his dad just moved in with him. And then Daphne, the healthcare worker, just moved in to his home. And so his life is just like all of a sudden thrown into this chaos. Okay. And this is the quote he says when he talks about his morning routine and how his morning routine has now been disrupted. So he says, if I am robbed of the richness of my morning routine, I cannot function. My radio show suffers and like ripples in a pond, so do the many listeners that rely on my advice to help them through their troubled lives. I'm sorry if this sounds crazy, but I have grown comfortable with this part of myself. It is the magic that is me. I love that last line, it's the magic that's me. But what I also love about there is the analogy of the pond and the ripples and how there's a ripple effect, okay? where if he doesn't get his routine um, and doesn't have that, it just, it messes up his whole day. And so um, rituals and habits, okay, they keep us going and they, they um, create that lifestyle that you want and then they also create this, this ripple effect, okay? So if you have good, healthy habits, and good rituals and good routines, it's going to create this ripple effect in your life, in your body, in your family, with your spouse, with your parenting, with your, you know, kids, your friends, everywhere, okay? So think about that when you think about creating healthy habits, rituals, routines. That's why we want to do that. That's why they're good to have in our lives, okay? So, First thing that I'm gonna talk about, about um, creating a habit 
and a healthy lifestyle and making um, essential oils a part of your everyday life, and I've talked about this several times, is you want to make them convenient. You want to keep them out so that they're easy to use and easy to grab because then again, it's less thinking and it's more of just, oh, I'm going to pick up this oil and take my frankincense now or my copaiba now. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that I have to help me um, create this lifestyle and to help me with my daily routine. So it continues to be a daily routine. So obviously I drink water every day. That's a part of my daily routine. And in the morning, um, when I wake up, one of the first things that I do is I grab my water. And so I get a water bottle that I love and I have my citrus oils nice and convenient sitting out on my countertop so that I don't have to think about where they are and I can just grab them and put them in my water. So grab a basket, grab a cute little container, um, go to Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx and find a cute little basket to put just your citrus oils in, okay? So now the other thing that I have is this beautiful stump, <laughs> okay? Um, so somebody made this, and these are super easy to make. You can probably find these all over on Etsy and maybe even Amazon, but this sits on my countertop as well. And then I keep my oils in here that I use um, on a daily basis or my favorite oils so that I can just easily grab them and use them. So I have that, and then another thing that I have is just this little container that you can get from Dollar Tree or the dollar store, whatever dollar store you have, even Amazon. So this was literally a dollar. And this sits next to my bed. Now, I don't have all of these oils in here next to my bed. I put these in here for you guys, okay? So I made it look nice and pretty for you, but you can put your nighttime oils in here. So your sleep roller balls, your vetiver, your cedar wood, whatever you put in your diffuser at night, uh, keep it right next to your bed so it's nice and handy. Now, you totally do not have to be fancy at all. So this is a cardboard box that I got when I ordered roller balls, which you can get from Amazon, super cheap, to again, make your own blends and keep your oils um, so that they're easy to use, okay? So this is the one I use before I do my live talks. This is spearmint and lavender, and uh, these oils help with communication. So I'll take it and I'll rub it on my throat. But this sits right here next to my desk so that I have the oils that I want for when I'm working and doing calls handy and ready to grab. The other thing that I have, and I'm going to show you this if I can do this without spilling everything, is I have this in my kitchen. This is one of my favorite trays that I have. It sits on top of our microwave. So yes, we are still using the microwave. I haven't researched that enough yet. So if you guys have any research on microwaves and uh, if they're good for you or not good for you, let me know. But anyhow, this sits right on top of there and I have my favorite spices that I use, my cinnamon, cayenne, and um, cocoa powder. And these are the oils that I incorporate into a lot of my daily habits and routines. There's clove, I love adding this to smoothies. I have turmeric, I try to do like a turmeric latte every single day, that's one oil I try to get in me on the daily. Cassia, another great one um, to add to smoothies, cinnamon bark, and cardamom, which I used for the latte that I just made, okay? So they're out sitting in my kitchen, nice and convenient, okay? Easy to grab. All right, so that is my first tip. So now I'm gonna talk about what my daily protocol looks like, okay? Um, and just remember, again, this did not happen overnight for me. This was a process. 
Um, we've been using essential oils for three years, and I would say really about six months ago um, is when I started to create these rituals, when I really sat down and wanted to think about what do I want my morning to look like, what do I want my afternoon to look like, and what do I want my evening to look like. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is replace your products slowly. So don't feel like you have to go out there and spend hundreds of dollars and replace everything that you have. So take it slow. I didn't start out with all of these oils. In fact, I started out with like one. So, um, so just know that everyone starts somewhere and you slowly build your supply. Now, one thing that dawned on me, um, I think it was over the summer, I was out buying lotion at a store. And I'm thinking to myself, why in the world am I buying lotion here when doTERRA um, makes the lotion and I can get it at a 30%, well, I can get rewards, okay? So doTERRA has a rewards program, which you should definitely know about if you don't know about it, but you can get 30% back in free products. And this is for everyone, okay? Not just anybody doing the business. It's called the Loyalty Reward Program. And I'm thinking to myself, why in the world am I out here buying from this store supporting a company that I don't even know you know who I'm supporting or what I'm supporting don't really know exactly what's in this lotion and why don't I just get it from doTERRA so think about that that when you run out of a product replace it with doTERRA's and get those reward points so you can get free products okay this is what my routine looks like so I wake up in the morning and the very first thing that I do is I make my bed now there is a, a video out there a motivational video if you just google make your bed it's probably the first one that will come up it was a Navy officer that gave this motivational um, speech and it's a great speech so listen to the whole thing but he talks about making your bed every single morning because at the end of the day you have at least accomplished one task okay so it's kind of it gets you going gets you motivated to do another task and another task for me I my office it's in our bedroom so if my bed is not made and my room is messy, my mind is messy, and I can't think, I can't focus, I can't do work, and it's like that with the kitchen. So if my kitchen is messy, I have a hard time focusing and hunkering down and doing my job. So because I work from home a lot of the times when I'm not out meeting with people, I need it to be organized. So make, make your bet, that's the first thing that I do. Then I get up and I, uh, scrape my tongue <laughs> okay so some of you have heard me talk about this if you haven't heard what this is or have ever seen anything like this I discovered this again probably six months ago from Ange Peters and you get up in the morning and you stick your tongue out and you scrape it and you're gonna see all the gunk that's on your tongue so it helps with fre fresh breath it helps you um, taste your food better it gets you know just that gunk that's on there off of your tongue so I do that and then I brush my teeth so I'm incorporating doTERRA's toothpaste so again when you run out of your toothpaste replace it with doTERRA's and one of the reasons why you should is if you are using an over-the-counter toothpaste read the back and in fine print it says if you ingest a teaspoon to call poison control okay so what does that tell you they're adding poison something poisonous to your toothpaste so this is an easy way it's part of my daily routine i'm implementing oils into my mouth okay now the other thing that we have is the on guard mouth wash now i am out of this right now so again it's not a part of my protocol right now because I'm out and I need to reorder this so ideally I would have this and I would use this every single day just after four days of using the mouthwash it is going to balance the pH in your mouth okay so it's great for oral hygiene okay 
you can also make your own homemade mouthwash, which is actually why I kept this container because I was gonna make my own. I still could, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. All right, so I do that and then I wash my face. Now, um, a lot of times in the morning because I wash it every night and I do what's called oil cleansing, so you guys can look that up. I also use the Virage line um, and I kind of alternate and I go back and forth. Sometimes in the morning I'll just take a wet compress on my face and sometimes I'll use the Virage cleanser and clean my face. So after I clean, my face, what I do is I have this oil serum that I've made. It was originally from the Barrage skincare line, so you can get it from the skincare line. I ran out and I refilled mine because I made my own. But what I do is I take Yarrow Palm. So this is one that I absolutely use twice a day, morning and night, because of all the amazing health benefits. Okay, so this one, it helps promote healthy cellular function and inflammatory response. It also helps support the nervous system and rejuvenation. So it helps rebuild the collagen and elasticity in your skin. And a lot of women have been talking about how um, it's great for metabolism and women have lost weight. Okay, so it supports your metabolism. But what I do, Okay, is there's this little dropper, and so I'll have my oil serum in my hand, and I'll grab the dropper, and I'll have a couple drop out into my hands, and then I move it right to my mouth, and I take two to three under my tongue. I do that every morning and every single night, okay? Now, then what I do is I make my bulletproof coffee. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can go to Insta stories right now and I showed you how I make bulletproof coffee. And I made this switch this summer because I was having digestive problems. I was, I was, my go-to was coffee and half and half. I was a half and half girl for years and years and years and years. I've been drinking coffee for 20 years, okay? Every single morning. That was just, that was a habit, right, that I really wasn't thinking about. It just was a habit. And really what I was addicted to and what my habit was is I want something hot, okay? That's what I need is a hot drink every morning. So once I discovered that about myself, I uh, was able to switch to Bulletproof Coffee, which is coffee and then MCT oil, uh, or you can use coconut oil and ghee, or you can use grass-fed butter, okay? So that's that's what Bulletproof is. But then what I do is, like, I'll grab my spices or my oils, um, like cassia, for example, and I'll add that into my Bulletproof coffee, okay? One to two drops. So not every single day, but just when I'm in the mood and I can switch up the oils. Do I want cardamom? Do I want clove or turmeric or cinnamon bark? So I get that, and then I get my diffuser ready right away, okay? So it's not something that I even think about. It's just something I do. So what happens is, again, this routine just becomes your ritual where you don't have to think about it. You just do it. So when I'm getting my diffuser ready, I'm putting in my, my oils, right? So I have this one going right here on my desk. But... So I drop in my oils and I either use, so you can create like a blend that you just want to use every day without thinking about it. It's your blend. It's what you love. You can use a single oil, just like wild orange, or you can mix it up. I either like to turn to this or I love to look up new recipes and switch it up. I love new smells. I love discovering the way different oils go together. And so a lot of times I'll just Google it, okay? So doTERRA diffuser, and if I have a specific oil um, that I wanna learn more about and see what mixes well with it, like let's just say it's Siberian fur, I would look that up and then I would click images and I would get a ton of diffuser recipes. So here's one thing that I started doing. I'm like, you know what? I have my oils out, I'm getting my diffuser ready, 
why am I not putting these oils on me while I have them out and the lid is off and they're open and they're just sitting right there. So, um, so let's just say um, I'm putting a diffuser blend together and I've got frankincense in there, right? Well, frankincense is in my log stump that I showed you sitting right on my countertop. So I'll add it to my diffuser and then I'll just put my head back and I'll take two drops under my tongue right then and there. So I'll show you in case you guys haven't done this, but you can do this. You can just do that and drop it under your tongue for the ones that you can ingest. And remember, the ones that you can ingest will have a supplement fact on the back, okay? So frankincense is one of the oils that I also make sure I take every single day, morning and night, and then sometimes throughout the day. So a lot of times it's when I'm getting my diffuser ready. And then let's say I'm mixing it with wild orange. Well, then I'll put a drop of wild orange in my hand. I'll rub my hands together and breathe it in. And I'm getting the you know, aromatics that's going through my nose and it's going past my olfactory bulbs and into my brain and into my limbic system. And it's uplifting. It's helping with depression and anxiety. And I feel like I'm in a citrus grove. So for those of you who are in Wisconsin or Iowa or a frozen state, grab your citrus oils because you probably are a little depressed right now. Um, so start diffusing all your citrus oils or peppermint even because it's energizing and invigorating. All right, so I get my diffuser ready and then you know put whatever oils I want on. I rub it on my neck. Um, you can get your fractionated coconut oil if it's something that would support like your lower back, say it's Siberian fur or marjoram, you know, rub it on your back. Um, so that, so I do that. Then the next thing I do is get my water ready, which I chatted about that earlier and I have my oils handy there and the oils that I typically drink throughout the day are going to be lemon, slim and sassy, green mandarin, grapefruit, and tangerine. And the reason why is because all of those oils are high in limonene. Okay. That's the chemical constituent, um, one of them that's in these oils, okay? And what limonene does is it supports liver and your kidney, and also it's very cleansing to the body, okay? So tangerine is one of those oils where um, if you're starting to feel sick, start drinking tangerine because it gets your lymphatic system going. It supports your lymphatic system. So it helps detox and, you know, get the nasty stuff out of you. Okay. So those are typically the oils that I drink. And what I do is I switch it throughout the day. So I might start with lemon in the morning and then I'll switch it to slim and sassy and then I'll switch it to green mandarin and then, you know, tangerine. So um, switch it throughout the day because I like different flavors. And then I will grab my peppermint, okay? And so this is to help wake me up, because remember, this is first thing in the morning, right? I'll just tip it over like this, and I'll put a little on my temples and the back of my neck. Now, don't get too close to your eyes, because if you've had our peppermint, you know how crazy strong this is, okay? It will make you cry. Um, so I do that just because it helps wake me up. I feel the coolness on the back of my neck. Um, it's energizing. It you know helps with memory. It helps add oxygen to your system. Um, so that's why I use peppermint. And then I take my um, supplements in the morning. So there's a couple that I have that I take in the morning, Terrazyme, um, the, let's see what else. Um, if I have deep blue phenol complex, I will take that. And then sometimes I'll take On Guard Plus, okay? So again, my supplements are nice and handy and convenient. They're in a drawer in my kitchen, so I just pull those out and grab those, okay? So that is my morning. Okay, so now, now I've done my routine. I can get onto my day and start working and go to appointments or whatever I need to do. Now, the afternoon, okay? 
let's just say I um, am going on a hike or I'm doing yoga. I try to work out every day. It doesn't always happen, right? It's my ideal <laughs> day. It would happen. But when I work out, I want to incorporate oils to that, okay? So I'll use a lot of times wild orange, breathe, okay, to open up um, my, my airways and to support my respiratory system. So especially when I'm doing yoga, I love it because you can just feel it open everything up, okay? So I'll do that. I'll use balance a lot. I'll use deep blue rub. Um, so if, uh, again, if I'm doing yoga, there's yoga oils. Um, if I'm going on a hike outside, a lot of times I'll rub oils on the collar of my winter coat right now because it's cold. So, um, so I will do that. And then I take my supplements with lunch. So right here we go. It's these three right there. So again, I'm incorporating. This is a part of my ritual. It's a part of my every day. It's become my lifestyle now. And last week I did a talk on supplements. <laughs> How, um, I mean, that that's a huge step for me because I hate swallowing uh, anything, vitamins, supplements, pills, anything like that. So you can watch that video and hear how I, um, how that was a journey, you know, from where I maybe took a Flintstone or two in my life. And then now I take supplements every single day and then I'll refill, refill my water. And a lot of times I'll make a smoothie for lunch. Okay. So in my smoothies, I incorporate oils. I incorporate clove, cinnamon, turmeric, and cardamom. Um, you can add wild orange, you can add lemon, but that's another way that I'm getting essential oils into my body. And then I'll usually take copaiba under my tongue. And I take about three to four drops. So again, that's on my stump in my kitchen. And I, it's easy to grab. And under my tongue, it goes. All right. Now for um, showering and bathing, okay? What I do every time before is I dry brush my skin. If you don't know a lot about dry brushing yet, look it up. It's absolutely amazing. It gets your circulation going. Um, it's great for your digestive system because you take it and you rub it on your stomach in a um, clockwise motion. But what I do is I add DDR prime to my dry brush. So a couple drops and you start from your feet and you work your way up. Okay. So your feet, your legs, and then you're gonna take your arms, um, you're gonna do clockwise motion on your stomach, and then your chest, you're kind of brushing down towards your heart, okay? So it's great for exfoliating. We need to be exfoliating our skin. I wasn't doing that for the longest time, and my skin hurt. It was so dry, and it just, it was so painful, and until I started dry brushing, now I don't have that. But the reason why I add DDR Prime is this stands for DNA Damage Repair. So what it's doing is it's helping repair um, uh, my cells. Okay, where did I get the dry brush from? This one is from Amazon, and they're like 10 bucks. And this one's a little <laughs> funky looking. I've had it for a while, and it's kind of coming apart, but it's like $7, okay? So, um, so that's what I do in the... Um, when before I take a shower now I also have the shampoo conditioner body wash body scrub lotion um, body butter all of those have natural fragrances from your essential oils so look up the documentary stink if you don't know um, why fragrances if they're not natural why they are not good for your body but again that's another way that I'm making I'm getting essential oils into my daily protocol is with my bathroom items that I have. Okay, moving on to the night. So at night, I end up refilling our diffuser. So I have a 10 hour diffuser, it runs all day. Um, kids get home from school and I refill it and I usually add, I have a blend, it's Arborvitae Lime, 
and uh, one more, and I'm forgetting what else is in there. Or you can add on guard, okay? So basically, I like to clean the air and kind of help um, whatever the kids and my husband, he works at the school, whatever they're bringing home, I'm trying to clean the air and um, support our immune systems, okay? So I get that diffuser going again, and then I have supplements with dinner, and then I get our kids' nighttime diffusers going. So what a lot of people do is they take, like I'll take a jar of water instead of bringing the whole diffuser into the kitchen and refilling it at the sink, take either um, just a glass of, of water or if you wanna, if you have a, what do you call it to water your plants? I don't know what it's called, um, but anyways, it's like watering your plants. So water your diffuser, okay? And then get those nighttime oils in there a half hour before your kids fall asleep and before you go to bed because you're getting those aromatics into the room and it's gonna help them fall asleep much quicker. So I get the nighttime diffusers going and then we have a fancy little container to hold my son's oils, okay? So we have certain oils that we rub up and down his spine. We have one for sleeping. We even have one that doesn't even have a lid on it, okay? This one um, is calm. It has juniper berry, wild orange, balance, and I think another one. But this one, I rub up and down his spine, the bottom of his feet. We do On Guard, and we do DDR Prime, okay? Cellular support right here. We want to be supporting our cells as much as we can. So that's my son's. This one is my daughter. So she's got a little um, container in her room. She actually made this. And these are her oil blends. So again, um, involve your kids and get them in your kids' bedrooms uh, if they're old enough, okay? And then, um, let's see. Oh, so, okay, I'll apply the oils and I'll wash my face at night, which again, I'm doing the Yarrow Palm under my tongue. Um, and then another thing that you can do is you can make veggie caps. So um, those are little vegetable caps that you can open up, add your oils in, where you can add like your pink pepper, your turmeric, and your yarrow palm, okay? Those are three like heavy hitter oils that, uh, that you want to try to take every single day. I try to get them in like my turmeric, I try to get in when I make my lattes, okay? So I'll make a latte at night, and then um, that is about it. That's it. So that's my daily routine right there. So hopefully you guys can take one or two of these ideas and start making it a part of your routine. So again, don't think that you have to um, do what I'm doing every single day now, just start with one thing. So it might be the water. It might be getting your diffuser going every day. It might be making your bed every day. Um, it might be getting Yarrow Palm, which I highly recommend, and, and um, adding that to your skincare regimen and taking that internally. But what you want to do is you want to incorporate your essential oils um, into your everyday lifestyle. So another couple ideas is you want your oils around the house like I was talking about. So you've got your laundry room, um, our hand soap. That was one of the easiest switches is the foaming hand soap because you're going to save a ton of money. You can make it on your own. You know exactly what's in there. Um, cleaning products. Okay, so switch to green cleaning, make a new cleaner every single, you know, time you run out of something. Uh, linen spray, that's another one, or air fresheners, so that's another part. I actually didn't include this in here, but I do that every day. I take my air freshener that I have in my living room, and I spray it in my living room every single day, and on my carpet, on my rug in my dining room, in my kids' rooms, like on their bed. Um... So that's an idea. And then making roller balls. So again, this is going to make it convenient. You can take it with you wherever you go. So this is another 
thing that I do to make sure I'm using oils every day is I, this is my, you know, wallet that I take with me. And so when I'm out and about, I'll apply an oil. All right. So I'm going to end it with this quote. And I love this quote. You can't change your life until you change something in your daily routine. That's by John Maxwell. Okay, so think about that. Take one little baby step. Um, make one little change. Start listening to podcasts. There are so many podcasts out there, YouTube videos about um, uh, routines and habits and healthy lifestyle and creating, you know, the life that you want and uh, creating ri rituals. So start listening to that stuff and start looking at what other people are doing and then you're going to want to apply that to your life as well. So that that's actually what's happened to me is I watch what other people are doing um, that I really look up to and that I know have a life of vitality and I'm like, what are they doing? And then I learn what they're doing and then I add it and, and make it a part of my lifestyle. So that's it guys. I hope that was helpful. Thank you everyone for joining and we will see you next week. And if you are in a cold state, Stay warm. Bye, everyone. The fun part of closing everything out. Here we go. Bye-bye. End. Right now. <laughs>